EPA registration took two years to get through. We had to prove in the lab that it would do this um, at a 99% reduction in under two hours. And it's a very um, high bar to get to and really one that no one else had been able to achieve with a synthetic surface. The world's largest clinical trial testing the power of copper to kill life-threatening infections like MRSA. We've known since antiquity that there are certain metals and uh, properties of metals that uh, kill germs. But not until recently did scientists figure out a way to get the germ-fighting part of copper into everyday products. I'm tickled pink that I, I get to be at the hospital where uh, this is being trialed. They're putting it in things nurses and patients touch often, like towels, linens, and hard surfaces. But if they work the way doctors hope, it could change hospital design forever. And we believe that these copper-infused products, both surfaces and fabrics, will be significant adjuncts in helping reduce the amount of bacteria, viruses, and molds that are in the environment. We do not know the magnitude of improvement that's going to accomplish, but we know it's going to do something good for our patients. So when we looked at the uh, infections in the hospital, what we saw was that when we looked at the type of organisms that are very resistant, the worst infections in other words, when we looked at the experience of how many of those infections were occurring in our patients, despite all the other processes we had in place, we saw a statistically significant reduction in those infections. One of the things we hadn't expected that we were very pleased to find is that patients and their families see these materials and recognize them as different than what they might have seen had they been in the hospital earlier. And when they ask why and we explain what we're doing, they came away with a sense of what we as an organization are really are about, which is doing everything we can to avoid any harm to them. That quality of care and that feeling of safety and the feeling that this is what you would want for your family member, you know, that coupled with um, your reputation makes a big difference. That there is an economic penalty to the occurrence of healthcare associated infections in hospitals in America. And therefore, any effort to reduce the frequency of those infections has an opportunity to reduce that penalty. Effectiveness against infections is going to trump cosmetics any day. I firmly believe that it won't take all that many avoided infections before we're on the right side of the ledger here. It, it was the first part of opening the door to having to have real conversations with people who were looking at this from a clinical aspect. We have had, we had so many people when we were doing this project that wanted to see what we were doing. We had um, products that were interested in embedding it into their products and um, other hospital systems that maybe had problems with infections. They all wanted to come here to see. A local company is making big strides in keeping the nation's veterans safer and healthier. Central Texas Veterans Healthcare System is working to eliminate hospital acquired infections. The surfaces that will change are countertops, over the bed tables, bed rails, and sinks. So we need something that can maintain itself um, in addition to uh, manual cleaning. We want to clean these surfaces sort of in an uh, automated fashion, and that's what this technology brings. It's not every day that you see these opportunities to be able to improve patient safety and clinical quality, do so at a fairly modest investment level with something that is so straightforward and simple and stands a really good chance of generating a positive ROI here. It's easy math and it's, it's much, much more than finance. It's about the culture and the commitment of the company 
to making it so that we don't harm our patients. We went into this with a commitment to the fidelity of the data. We honestly didn't know how this was going to turn out. As I think everyone in healthcare would like, you'd like to find new and vigorous tools to combat a really serious problem in the industry. So that when we saw these results, we were very pleased. My sense is that copper will replace nearly everything that we touch will have some sort of copper associated with it. It'll take some time, but it's, it's, um, I believe it's inevitable. Finding out that it actually was having an effect on hospital-acquired infections and transmission rates and intercepting uh, these pathogens from getting to patients, well, I mean, that's, that's huge. I mean, it put aside the financial aspect of that and what it means for the hospital and the, the burden on healthcare, but just for the patients themselves, I think that's been incredibly rewarding for everybody that's worked so hard on this. Now, we recognize that there, that there are other questions to be asked that were actually raised in the article that we were having published about this experience. Mm -hmm.